Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see how to read and save data file in R. So first thing that we are going to do is we are going to set working directory. So I'm going to use setwd and inside that I'm going to set my D drive as working directory. Next thing I'm going to create a dummy data. So let's create a data frame and then call for data dot frame. This method will take our data. For that, let's start with x. And for this vector, I'm going to pass 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next is y is equal to, and then for this combined function, I'm going to use 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, and then I'm going to use z. For this, I'm going to use let's say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, and then I'm going to load my data frame. Okay, so this is my sample data, and I'm going to save this session into session data file, which is stored with file address dot rds. So for that, we are going to use save RDS method and give it our data frame and then point our session data name to session one, then dot RDS. And it is now getting stored. We can also verify if it is stored in our working directory. We can navigate and check if we can get that RDS file. So session one dot RDS file is in my working directory. Okay, now next thing is to read this stored data into a new data frame. So let's use DF2 as our new data frame and it's going to read read RDS file. So read RDS method, let me find it. And that method takes one pointer to our session one dot RDS file. And then I'm gonna simply call for DF2 and it will point me to the data stored earlier by our session one file, okay? So this was how to create a data frame and then store that data frame's data into a session data file, which is .rds file. And then we check the method read RDS, which reads that session file. So two important functions here, save RDS for saving data within that session, then read RDS for reading that data from session. Okay, now, to save data file in R, there is one more file that we can use. So for that, let's use save function, then call for our first data frame, and then call for file equals to, and then point to our working directory. Okay, you can also point to full address if you want, then call for session two dot R data. Okay, now I'm gonna save this and see if it works. And then you can also save this, everything that we have done so far into an image and you can store it with save a dot image method. Here you just have to point to where you want to save. So let's say one session dot R data. Okay. and if you check your working directory then you can find your R data sessions files are right here and they will be read as our workspace and you can easily confirm that on your working directory so this was a short video on how to store your session data file how to read that stored data and also save into your workspace data 
and create image of your current session.